album youth with photosensitive i have not heard of this band before have you i have not either wow apparently uh, it's, nope never it's been floating around in the charts it just moved up six spaces to enter number 10 and the subscription a uh, next generation virtual singer uh-oh <laughs> who suddenly uh -oh. appeared in the Sinseke fucking AI. <laughs> There's even AI it's in this okay. title. What? Sinseke, a new world from <laughs> Kamitsubaki <laughs> Asu. She has a natural sense of rhythm and an unpredictable <laughs> singing voice. She's an innocent girl who fantasizes mischievously and acts intuitively rather than thinking. All right. That's a lot of character huh. for an AI. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of personality right there. <laughs> yeah. That in yeah. yeah, guys, apparently that love bite thing is happening in like five minutes. Oh, really? What the their streaming thing? Oh, yeah. Good to know. The uh, their J Mello appearance. Okay, here's the link TV for. I'll thing. put the link in for that as well, right? Here. So who's who's J Mello? I think it's it's a TV. Yeah. show or like a host station. maybe that's a no. good question i just put the link in the chat though for people who are interested in that um but okay let's get to the open. top 10 so people <laughs> <laughs> so people can go see that if they want to all right yeah, yeah, yeah. passcode has moved up a spot to number nine with nice. clouds across the moon we all know who which we is. did over on our patreon if anybody wants to check it out Oh, sweet. Uh, number eight, Tatsuya Kitani with Scar is holding steady at number eight. Uh, Bish at number seven with Bye Bye Show. Rising 17 places to come up to number seven. That's been quite the skyrocket. Damn, that's yeah, it's a big jump. Significant. Number six, One OK Rock, who I just saw. I think I'm going to make a video review about him because, uh, dang, I was blown away. Wait, 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 wait. okay. Six. So, what, what, can, can we get like a short commentary from you on, yeah. on how you felt? Okay, so the venue situation was not ideal. I was in the very back row of a 20,000 seater, and the seats were a lot worse than I expected. Like, they had two monitors on each side of the stage, but one was covered by a pillar and one was covered by another like Megatron screen. So, I, I couldn't see anything besides the ants walking around on the stage. Felt like I was watching from space. <laughs> but that said, the vocals were so freaking spot on. Like, mm. I was blown away by his voice. And all five of the songs, or, or no, six songs they played, because they were just like the little opener for Muse, which is weird for 1OK Rock. But every song was so much cooler than any of the songs I heard before I went to see them. So I'm excited to listen to those six songs again. Um, they're a live band, man. Like I, I've, I've, when I hear their recordings, they're decent. But when you see them live, you realize how good Taka actually is yeah. at that rock and roll voice, you know, because he's got a great clean and he's got a great uh, rasp, little scream yeah. sound that he does on there. And he's perfect. He's perfect live, like just never messes up or anything. Yeah. And the range of his raspy voice, like it's somewhere where most people would be in falsetto, but he just like goes for the note and it's, it's just so satisfying. The rasp he puts on it really enjoyed nice. that. All right. Number five, we have baby metal with light and darkness, obviously new at number five. Very mm. nice. <laughs> Their song from this week. So we talked about last week. <laughs> yeah. uh, Hanabie at number yeah. four with Osaki ni Shitsure Shimasu. Pardon me. I have to go. Uh, holding steady at number four. I love that song, man. Oh man, I I haven't heard it since I first reacted to it, but yeah, I remember, I remember it, which is a good sign. <laughs> that that means something when Wave says that it after does. he's listened to four four hundred songs in a row. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> number three, TK from Ling to Sight to 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 Cite Sigere with first death. I don't know why I try to say that falling from. One to number three. Oh, falling one spot to number cool. three. Okay. So what's in number two? Baby Metal with Metal Kingdom. 
<laughs> Interesting. Interesting. All right. And number uh, one. Sorry, Ryan, were you saying something? No. Guess not. <laughs> oh, no, no, go ahead. Number one. Ten feet with Dai Zero Khan. Uh holding steady at number one. All right. Yeah, we talked about that before last week, and I was just like, who the hell are these people? But apparently everybody knows. Except yeah. for us. <laughs> I still didn't listen to him yet, but I had kind of a busy week. <laughs> All right. So if you want to check that out, I don't know. Oh, wait. Where's the thing? Foibles. Name subject to change. The most bodacious Foibles. rise was Bish with Bye Bye Show. Most heinous drop was Bandmade, dropping 32 spots with Influencer. What? Let's get on that, people. Come on. <laughs> All right. Most excellent yeah. new entry yeah. Baby Metal shooting to number five with Light and Darkness. Most bogus new entry, Lynch, with Calling Me. I have not heard that. You guys me heard neither. Lynch? Uh, most non-triumphant. It's because everybody's so- listening to Memorable. <laughs> to, to what? I think he said Never Memorable. Mind, no. Every time even... Ryan talks, it's like <laughs> super fast and then nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, Love Bites with Judgment I'm Day. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> Oh, that worked. Maybe you should just <laughs> keep doing that. Just normal speed now. <laughs> All right. Most non triumphant love bites was so close with Judgment Day getting to number 11. Maybe next week. Um. All right. So. Memorable not getting in there, though. Right? Oh. And it wasn't in there. You're right. What hmm. the heck? Interesting. So influencer dropped 32 spots, but memorable didn't climb into the top 10. Hmm. Oh. That's hmm. That's really interesting. All right, so we have the covers top ten here. If it ever loads, what? Okay. Hey, that's what. That's you. No. Did you know that that was you? No, that's you. <laughs> What's going on here, Simno? <laughs> Is this real? Oh, shit. <laughs> All nice. Right. Nice. Sweet. Well, thank you. Five to number 10. Dang. I didn't even know it was on the thing. Well, number 10, (laughs) Wave Potter featuring Nam 1541 with Bandmade Manners in English. Cool. Well, got Bandmade on one of the charts. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Well, thank you all for that. (laughs) Number nine is Asterism with Gorenje, Demon Slayer. Rising two Ooh. places to come in. Is that overnight. new? I don't. Is it? I feel like this is older. Really? Because that song, that's the Lisa song. That's uh, Lisa's, um, that's, the Demon Slayer season one song. That's why it sounds familiar. Okay. So Asterism just covered that. Cool. cool. Oh, I really want to hear that. That's a great track. Nice. It's been f- out for four weeks. Dang. What, what wow. have we been doing? Okay. We'll check that out this week. Number eight. The codec with the rumbling sim cover, uh, very nice. Congratulations! And Dicodic I'm starting to feel again. like this this might be a, a biased list. <laughs> Literally, our clip for the cover chart this week was "Is GG covers chart rigged?" And now I'm really suspicious. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna sing like a quick snippet of a we bandmade song right now and see if I make it on. Yeah. All right. Champs about to cover bandmade. Shut up, everyone. I just had to sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> Is that your cover? <laughs> Do they have a song called Sneeze? I don't know. They got a lot of tracks. <laughs> kind of sounds like Achan. <laughs> All right. Number six. Sokuninaru with Slam Dunk, Wands, Until the End of the World, dot, dot, dot. All right. Steady at number six. Number five. Falling one spot to number five. Sokuninara was Senbon Zakura, the Hatsune Miku cover. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, guys. We're, we're, we're almost done. And <laughs> you can run over to the JML. If you, <laughs> yeah. if you want to watch Love Bites, just go ahead. Leave. But, we're, no, no, don't go anywhere. Keep staying here. But we're almost done. <laughs> okay. Number four. Sokuninara swapped spots with the last one. Wait, wasn't that them before? <laughs> yeah. With Arashi yeah. Truth. So they just usurped themselves. Oh, congratulations. Otto at number three with Pretty Cure 5, Smile Go Go, Falling. 
mm. to number three. Um, rising one to number two is Asterism beating out Ido. Right. The Idol group's playing out. Asterism oh. and Pelek with Ichizu, where Haruka sings. And number one, Mei Chan with Burkina Dance. It's holding steady at number one. For more Gaijin goodies like you just saw, be sure to subscribe to the Gaijin Guys podcast and turn on all notifications to be part of the live stream every Sunday. You can also find us wherever you listen to podcasts, Spotify, iTunes, etc. Uh, you can find even more exclusive content and reactions on our Patreon, patreon.com slash guys. I'll see you there. Adios.